Hey. Can't sleep either. Yeah, it's way too hot tonight, isn't it? Mind if I sit? Thanks. Hmm? Oh no, your sister passed out right away. I don't know how she does it, but she refuses to let me on her secret. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? How is she? I think she's feeling a little bit better after today. I'm glad we convinced her to go out with us. I know that one needs a good cry after a breakup, but I hate to see her just walling it in. Yeah, breakups really suck. Like it hurts no matter the circumstances. But in her case, it must be horrible to think that relationship is perfectly fine and then get dumped out of the blue. I think she's still really struggling to understand what really happened. Right? I thought he was a really decent guy as well. He was always super kind and respectful. She seemed so relaxed and comfortable around him. I was honestly really happy for her when they got together. She hasn't been very lucky on the relationship front. But then this happened. <sighs> Dating's kind of exhausting, isn't it? I mean, you meet someone you like, you get to know them. You open up to them, and some shit goes down and you break up. And then you can go do it all over again with another complete stranger. Sometimes I'm just like, what's even the point? Like, why do we bother? <laughs> because we don't like being alone? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, what about you then? How are you doing in the relationship field? Shitty. What, have you been dumped worse than your sister? Because I don't think that's possible. You don't know what you want in a relationship. Well, that's okay. I mean, we're constantly figuring out stuff in life, aren't we? <laughs> oh, please. I think we've both already realized that no one actually has anything figured out. Like, ever. We're all just pretending we know what we're doing. That's true. I know what I want in a partner, but that doesn't mean you have to know as well. We're two different people. You can't really compare them. What about me? What do you mean? Oh, relationship-wise. Um, nothing special either. The last person I went out with was alright, but I don't want to settle for that, you know? I don't want to settle for someone who will make me happy enough, who will check enough boxes off my list. Hey, I don't have high standards. I just want the real thing. All this online dating stuff feels like playing pretend. Come to think of it, I don't even know why I keep hoping I'll find the right person in a stranger. Maybe I should be looking at people I already know instead. What I mean is, isn't it easier to fall for someone you actually know? Meeting people online, there's always some sort of facade. There's often something hidden or fake, but that won't happen with someone who's already been in your life for a while. Take us, for example. We may not know each other perfectly, but we've gotten pretty close over these past few years that I've been hanging out with you and your sister. I don't exactly know your favorite color or your allergies, but I know who you are as a person. That's something most people won't put in their Tinder bio, if you know what I mean. You're a really good listener, by the way. 
Yeah, I mean it. You act super tough most of the time, but I think there's actually a lot hidden behind that. Like what? Well, you care about other people more than you let on. Look at what you've done for your sister. She dated to cheer up. You wouldn't have done that if you didn't care about her. Hey, I never said that was a bad thing. I think it's an amazing thing. I guess I just don't understand why you wouldn't let people see this side of you. The way you are right now, I can think of only a few occasions when you were this open and honest. Well, with me at least. Are you, like, scared of getting hurt? Being emotional doesn't make you weak. I don't see you that way. Your sister definitely doesn't see you that way either. You're never gonna gain anything if you don't leave people in, you know? You can miss out on some amazing things that way. I think that would be a shame. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. I just thought I'll tell you how I see it. Wait, you wanna what? Jump in the pool? You do know it's like 2 a.m., right? Alright, you're the crazy one. Uh, just to be completely clear though, I am NOT skinny dipping with you. I am 1000% keeping my underwear on. Was that a disappointment I just saw on your face? Jeez, keep it in your pants. <laughs> what? No, I'm not going skinny dipping with you. Not even out of pity. <laughs> no, your sister would kill us both. And then herself probably. Because of how cringe that situation would be. So deal with it. You're gonna have to set out with my incredibly hot black swimwear. Yeah, I just said it's hot, didn't I? Now get in the water before I have to fucking push you. Oh my god, this is fucking wonderful. You okay? You looked a little lost in thought for a minute there. Are you sure? You can tell me if there's something on your mind. You know, I won't judge. Of course. What's up? Wait. What are you doing? Uh, 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 um, uh, shit. I, I better get back. Uh, get back to the house before... Before your sister notices I'm gone. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, please don't tell your sister about this. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>